Moving on, as Nigeria commemorates the 2024 World Malaria Day along with the rest of the world, stakeholders are calling for collective action and a commitment towards eliminating malaria. This, as, this is as the World Health Organization has revealed that out of the 249 million malaria cases in 84 malaria endemic countries, Nigeria contributes over 1.3 million cases, making it the third largest contributor in the world for 2022. Here is the rest of the story. According to report, one in every three global cases of malaria occur in Nigeria. As a significant burden, nearly 67 million cases were recorded in 2022, accounting for 27% of the global malaria burden. The country also accounted for a large percentage of global deaths, particularly in children under five years of age. The Nigerian government, through the Ministry of Health and Social Welfare, has implemented various strategies to reduce the malaria burden in the country. These include distribution of long-lasting insecticidal nets, provision of anti-malarial drugs, health education and awareness campaigns, and strengthening of healthcare infrastructure. Development partners like the U.S. government through USAID has provided substantial funding to combat malaria in Nigeria, totaling over $914 million since 2011. This funding supports interventions such as the procurement and distribution of insecticide-treated mosquito bed nets. These efforts have led to a significant reduction in the malaria burden in Nigeria. However, challenges such as inadequate data and evidence-driven approaches hinder faster results in malaria control efforts. At the 2024 World Malaria Day celebration, stakeholders emphasized the need for the Nigerian government to prioritize malaria within the health sector and invest in efficient and effective malaria programming. The World Health Organization representative in Nigeria, Walter Kazadi Mulombo, represented by Alex Chimbaru, stressed that the fight against malaria extends beyond the health sector, emphasizing the need for collective action from all sectors of society. Globally, there are about five countries which had a very big impact in terms of contribution. Pakistan was one of them with um, 2.1 million, Ethiopia 1.3 million, Nigeria, 1.3 million, which means we are actually number three globally in terms of contribution, which is a cause of concern. Hence the theme, let's change the narrative. So as WHO, we are requesting all the members in this house, outside this house, to be committed to work towards controlling malaria. The fight against malaria is not just a health issue. It needs everyone on board. We need industry. We need other ministries. We need the communities to be on board for us to change the narrative. The USAID Nigeria Deputy Mission Director, Sarah Worth, reiterated the commitment of the US government to intensifying efforts to end malaria globally. In Nigeria, malaria deaths decreased from 194,000 in 2021 to 188,000 in 2022. I urge the government of Nigeria to recognize malaria as a priority within the sector-wide approach and its significance to the achievement of the 2023 to 2026 strategic vision for the health sector. I also urge the government and private sector to invest in making malaria programming more efficient and effective using data and other evidence to inform malaria implementation and drive faster results. Others called for the involvement of industries, other ministries, and communities to join forces in tackling this deadly disease. For the past 77 years, we have been trying to defeat malaria. And it seems as if malaria is defeating us. So we need to come together and reimagine what it would be without um, malaria. We need to try to come together to change the narrative. For us to defeat malaria, we need to move beyond the health sector. We need to bring the Ministry of Education, Agriculture, Infrastructure, the private sector, everybody needs to come on board. So I'll encourage us as we, we commit ourselves um, to see what we can collectively do to ensure that we continue to engage with our communities as much as possible. With increased investment, efficient use of resources, 
and interventions that are tailored to the local context and people oriented, we are committed to achieving the National Malaria Strategic Plan goal of malaria free Nigeria. We will continue to support NMEP as we move towards a Nigeria that is free of malaria. The theme for this year's World Malaria Day, Zero Malaria, Draw the Line Against Malaria, underscores the global effort to eliminate malaria entirely and prevent its spread, emphasizing the importance of collective action in achieving this goal.